Monique apologizes for telling women to stop wearing their bonnets out in public. Hey, my sweet babies, and happy Friday, my loves. So I had to come on here this morning because something happened this morning, and I want to share it with you, all right? And while I was in the shower, getting myself together, the little voice came to me and said, Monique, you owe the community an apology. And I know y'all said, Monique, what's that little voice? It's my voice, but it's the, the little voice inside of me, right? Okay. And it said, you owe the community an apology. And I said, for what? Be sure to like, comment, and, and subscribe. And it said, because you told the community to stop wearing their bonnets out in the street. And you called that wrong. And if I call something wrong, I want to be the first one to say, I called it wrong and I apologize for the little sweet babies that took offense to me saying, stop wearing your bonnets outside the house. I want to apologize to the babies that said, oh, you don't know what I'm dealing with or going through. I am sorry. Now, when the elders got involved and they start saying, oh, Monique, that kind of shook me a little bit because I'm like, you too damn old. You know better. But I'm back to my apology. I want to say I'm sorry for telling y'all to stop wearing them bonnets. Because what came to me this morning is, they're not bonnets. They got damn shower caps. Now, when I watch Little House on the Prairie, Laura Ingram and her mama and her sister and, and the real mean girl, they wore bonnets. What y'all, they shower caps. So I apologize for telling y'all to stop wearing them bonnets. But if y'all don't stop wearing them damn shower caps, <laughs> out in the streets my baby watch how to make you feel so again i'm sorry for telling you not to do the bonnets but then i realized they're not bonnets they damn shower caps if you want to wear a bonnet go look up little house on the prairie and see what a bonnet really is i love y'all for real my sweet babies and I hope <laughs> y'all stop with them SCs. Shower caps. I love y'all, my babies. One minute, 37 seconds later. You want to think about the big house you was living in? You want to think about your private jets and your private yachts? You want to think about all of the riches that you had? Or do you want to think about the family you created? Do you want to think about as you are leaving and you're transitioning, do you want to think about those special moments and memories when you got married, when you had babies, when your babies had babies? Do you want to think about that? And it's totally up to you. Because some people say, shit, when I leave here, I ain't thinking about shit, I'm just gone. But what do you really want to think about? Because what I'm seeing right now, and I said to Sydney, I said, Daddy, I said, I got to come off of this for a while. I said, because it's, it's not being said enough for me that being with somebody to make you happy, to treat you special, and you can do the same. All I'm starting, not all, that's too general. I'm hearing a lot of how much money is involved. I'm hearing a lot of What's your stuff? What you bring into the table? You hearing people say that a woman don't have to bring nothing to the table. Yes, the what? And it don't have to be about the money. But wouldn't it be nice if she brought a good attitude? Wouldn't it be nice if she brought a nurturing uh, 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 disposition about herself? Wouldn't it be nice if she could make a goddamn cake from scratch? Wouldn't it be nice if you woke up Sunday morning and the house was filled up with Sunday dinner smells? Wouldn't it be nice we are not talking about that shit no more? We are talking about how much money. And that is what I believe is just tearing our community down even further, my babies. Lamar, I'm ready, baby. I'm sorry, that was just on my heart. And that's why I'm doing this uh, live workout. If one of y'all get it. If one of y'all get it, if one of y'all can get something out of this today, damn it, do it. But be careful who's feeding your soul. Be careful who you're listening to. Be careful who you're making your vision board behind and about. What, listen to the people that is feeding your soul and see who's feeding ass. See who's feeding ass, baby. Listen to the people that don't talk about love, but all they talk about is a career and business moves. Listen to those people because I give you my word. 
And I can't say all, but a lot of them go home empty. A lot of them go home to them four walls and they lavish living. So for my young, sweet nieces out there, because I take aunties so serious, I really do. If I could gather all of y'all up, baby, I take it serious. Don't get caught up in what he got. And I'm not saying get with no bums either. Please hear me, but you know the difference. If you see a man or a woman and you see what they striving for, you see what they're trying to get to, you see where they're trying to go, don't wait till they get there because then shit becomes in question. Well, now why are you here? But if you're rolling with somebody, baby, and y'all got to count change out your gym bag to get a cheesesteak sub and a bag of chips and a soda and one piece of cheesecake because that's all the money we had at the time. Lamar, that's what me and my baby did. And then you go through life together. You go through life together. So that's on my heart right now because I'm just seeing our babies... I'm seeing our babies go through something that I'm like, y'all, if the older ones in the community, if us as the elders in the community said, listen, let's put into our babies what some of us got put into us. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.